thank you very much um ahilya bhai holkar punya shlok ahilya bhai holkar solapur university for inviting me for this conference uh, particularly uh, dr ranjit chincholkar and his team as uh, school of social sciences of this university for organizing this international multidisciplinary conference uh, on the very important global theme of sustainable development goal and vision thank you very much for organizing this conference it will shed light on the very conception of sustainable development goals its motives its goals the process of achievement and till 2030 how a humanity on the earth can achieve these goals in next 8 years which seems quite impossible but definitely because of this covid 19 health hazard in calamity uh, it was a setback to achieve the goals at the same time our progress was not uh, as expected speed to achieve the 17 goals and 139 particular objectives of the sustainable and goals why this happens when almost all countries 193 countries in the world have signed agreement to be part of this process to implement sustainable development goals and achieve these goals which are sustainable not only for human race but for the mother earth for the ocean oceanography for the for the future of animate and inanimate world and protect the biodiversity on the earth which has been mainly disturbed and imbalanced by human intervention we are responsible for that i can say we are culpable so called intelligent animal species like us human beings are responsible for this grave situation of mother earth and because of that we all are facing i'm going to face last 10 15 years we know that lot of zoonotic diseases the diseases which have come from the animal kingdom because of disturbance to the biodiversity and these viruses have come from the animals to humans like bird flu swine flu ebola and uh, covid 19 we know a lot of different variations of that that have come and uh, there is a possibility that they may come again in different formats and different names it is because the root cause is why zoonotic diseases have come because we have disturbed the biodiversity we have disturbed the mother earth and because of that we are facing climate change climate calamities and we all know we don't have that time that billions of dollars we invest and create lot of infrastructure in terms of 
transport, roads, buildings, facilities, hospitals, and what not. They are being destroyed by this natural calamity. And therefore, whatever we achieve, we lose because of the wrong path we have adopted. The development is not sustainable. It is exploitative. And therefore, the situation has emerged like this. And therefore, the importance of sustainable development goals is so important for the existence of not only humankind, but for the whole animate world, live and life on the earth, and as well as the inanimate world, which is coexisting with us on this earth. And in next 50, 100 years, there is a possibility that our cities will not be metros, which are attracting millions of people from across the world and across the countries, will not be suitable to live because there will not be oxygen we require to live. So, these environmental hazards, because of the poor industrialization, uncontrolled development and exploitation of the Mother Earth, and not taking care of the other species on the Earth, and only we are considering the future and progress of ourselves. That is a self-suiciding mode of human race. And therefore, sustainable development goals are very important. And this very importance of sustainable development goals is required to be communicated, persuaded, and convinced to the larger mass of society, people of society, and that function, most of the time, governments in different countries, because highly occupied by different challenges, political, social, economic challenges, war-like situations, like we are facing in uh, Russia and Ukraine, Ukraine, because of these challenging situations, we are neglecting over this, and therefore, people at large are not knowing which are the sustainable development goals. How many are they? Why they are important? What will be the impact of those if we do not achieve these goals by 2030? And how every individual from every country from every government, local or state or national, every civil society units, every political parties, and every educational institutions, and every individual student teachers are responsible to take this message or convince our audiences that what are sustainable development goals, what they are important, how individual, how society, how state or nations can respond to that positively and be an active participant in the processes. And for that, the role of media, role of mass media, role of social media becomes of paramount importance. There are you know, a lot of uh, issues being discussed in these terms. Only media and education sector can create required awareness and sensitization among the public, among the students, about, among the society, parents, taking the help of NGOs, 
civil societies, government units, administrators, officers, opinion makers. And naturally, taking the help of media units around. So education sector and media sector, these are the two pillars of creating awareness among the society, every section of our society, every walk of our life to be sensitized and thoroughly understood the importance of sustainable development goals. Are we doing that? In my opinion, we are not doing that. Can we do that? I will say yes. We can do that collectively. And there is a requirement of commitment, passion to join our hands, hand holding to achieve these goals and create awareness required with the help of positive role of media. Mostly media units are found, mainstream media units are found in realization of the issues, the religious conflict, cultural conflicts, war conflicts, individual conflicts, in India caste conflicts, and creating political messages, social messages, which will attack on the harmony and the peace in the society and in the world. And therefore, if mainstream media understand their role, that they are responsible and not irresponsible, they are constructive and not destructive units of society to create positive attitude for the ultimate existence of the humankind, ultimate existence of the race, the different species, animal, bird, and whatever. There are millions of creatures on this earth, micro creatures, microbes, which are not visible to our eyes. It doesn't mean that they are, they are not existing. They are existing. They have their life. And therefore, and they are contributing to sustenance of our life. And therefore, it is the responsibility of the human race not only think of development in terms of their own development of human beings, it is the development of totality. Totality means development along with the development of nature. Protect nature, you will be automatically protected. That kind of thought is required and I am very, very happy when I uh, look around in the world that new generation teenagers are very much sensible about this major issue which are creating an existential crisis to the life on this earth. And therefore, I personally feel that what media can do, that I will discuss in next five, seven minutes, and then I will uh, come to the point of solutions, how we can move ahead, and how media and education sector can mutually support each other to create awareness required in this area. In development communication, there are a lot of uh, perspectives and theories, but I will come to the two definitive uh, modern recent thinking perspectives, which are very important in terms of the role of media in creating awareness, changing the mindset, social change, behavioral change, and all these changes can be done not only by media. Media cannot change. Like we used to say in bullet theory, that will not happen. There is a uses and gratification theory. That will also not happen. What will happen in today's context, there are two very important uh, perspectives, which is 
one is the western perspective and another one is the asian perspective so i will focus on that and then i will uh, express my opinion on that the western thought is known as gratland commission report and which was world commission on environment and development wced gratland commission which has you know focused on theoretical model a perspective based on western thoughts and ideologies mostly neglecting the cultural aspect and cultural variation cultural conflict within the societies it is important no doubt about that but it has its own limitation in build and therefore then alternative theoretical perspective has come forth from asia asian perspective and that has been put forth by one buddhist monk from asia and his name is phara dhammapidhoka phara dhammapidho he has put forth the asian perspective which is fully connecting absorbing identifying the characters of the asian culture so western model can be useful for the western societies and asian model or asian perspective can be useful for the asian region which is constitute almost 42% of the world population and what he says the correct system and correct relations of development of mankind is the acceptance of the fact that human being is a part of the existence of the nature we are just a tiny part of the nature and our existence is dependable fully dependable on the existence of the nature it is proven now and therefore phara says that therefore it relates to its ecology and economy and a new concept he has mentioned that is evolvability evolvability by evolvability he means that we will evolve ourselves steadily and merge ourselves in the nature process processes of nature will be part of process of nature and he says that we can help human beings can help to cater to nurture the nature so that our exploitative attitude and approach and our greeds will come down needs will come down greeds will come down and will be for green future and therefore we all are aware that there is a concept of smart future where we take care of green technologies we take care of green sciences we take care of green habits green lifestyles so that we will not be exploited if you want energy 
we can get energy from the natural resources like sunlight, the wind power, and many other such. So there are alternative energy sources, which we call as renewable uh, energy sources for the traditional energy uh, systems. We will have all kind of clothing, which will be ecologically fit and best for human beings. We will go for the food, which will be protecting the nature. These kind of you know, green lifestyles are equally important. And this thing can happen by evolving ourselves into the uh, mainstream of nature's habitual practices, being part of that. And if we do that, we definitely could understand the dimensions and threats which are going to face because of climate change. And therefore, I personally feel, and there is a, uh, there is a solution developed by United Nations. I will request all teachers and students who are attending this international multidisciplinary conference that please study United Nations Sustainable Development Compact Activity, Compact, UN Compact. And in UN Compact, Compact you will understand that what are the activities and collaborations are being done on an international level by media organizations? Almost nearly 400 plus media organizations, print, uh, radio, broadcast, social media organizations, all have joined this. And they are contributing this compact impact creating about creating our awareness about the sustainability, creating awareness about the climate change, climate change challenges. And they have started appointing climate change reporters. Do we have that? And I have seen, I have studied not many, but few media organization in India have joined. But the greater response is from Asia, from Japan, from China, from Korea, from Europe. But our media organizations have not joined that uh, mission as such to create awareness. So unless and until we communicate, we write, we create content on social media and mainstream media, we communicate that into our classrooms from the school system. And I was surprised to see that actually United Nations has developed a curriculum for school going children about the climate change. If this climate change issues and sustainable development goal issues are discussed and maintained and taught in the classroom, to the new generations, they are very sensible in my opinion. They are very concerned. And if we communicate them this, the gravity of the situation, then definitely as this curriculum is already prepared by the international experts and all these issues are global issues, sustainable development and the climate change. So can we introduce such programs at our school level, high school level, and the university and college level. So all these efforts are being done on a uh, institutional level, education sector level. And as well as I have just told you that media units and media organizations, mainstream media organizations are joining this and they are creating program and content and discussions and stories. Uh, we know that uh, NDTV India is doing uh, a good contribution in that respect by their different uh, uh, initiatives they are doing. 
so such kind of initiatives are required on local level on the state level on the national level on the various uh, you know indian languages local languages uh, uh, the community radios local radios fm radios they can uh, develop uh, such kind of content and programs and uh, you know they occasionally and uh, you know regularly they can put content of creating awareness and sensitization about the sustainable development goals in the minds of the people and this way media can create awareness once awareness is created then mindset will change and if mindset mindset has changed then behavior will change unless and until you change the behavior you change the lifestyle you change the uh, so called greed and artificial need and we are in you know uh, in tune with the nature's nature's law and nature the things will not change and therefore uh, ultimately i personally feel that we should remember that dinosaur were the huge animals very strong and powerful animals jurassic park in jurassic park we have seen that animal which was artificially animated and animated created through virtual reality but now there are no dinosaurs if we human being consider ourselves that we can control the nature we can control everything we are very intelligent and all that one day will come that we can become dinosaur if we do not change and this is not threat this is going to be reality if we not contribute responsibly to protecting of nature and if we do that i'm damn sure if media becomes more responsible if media units start communicating communicating on these issues than crime than sensitizational matters than about the violence political violence then the same space cutting 50% to it can be given to the larger goals of existence of human beings human kind and the species on this earth if we protect mother earth then only we can protect us if we do not protect mother the mother earth we cannot protect ourselves that is the ultimate message of sustainable development goals to eradicate poverty to provide goal 4 is connected with the education so provide quality education for all and we know that 1.5 billion students uh, were because of this corona and because they were not having digital resources gadgets they were uh, they were uh, forcefully entered into learning poverty so these are the issues which are very important than uh, than the so called political issues religious conflicts caste conflicts and uh, the wars of cultural wars and other wars and media wars we are facing and we are engaging our mind and brain for that let us come out of that it's a jail it's a prison of media content and come out of that prison of media content and you know we should teach our students from the school levels that they will have a media literacy and they will start creating content because nowadays uh, the consumer has become prosumer he consumes as well as produces and therefore in a new environment i'm damn sure that new generation if we create awareness and sensitize with proactive play by media organization and education sector these two pillars can create new society new human race which will be very eco friendly and very close to nature that is the future thank you very much for inviting me and giving me this opportunity to express my thoughts thank you